Dear students, I am Dr. Sami Siddiqui, Assistant Professor, Department of English, Maulana Azad National Urdu University, Hyderabad. I welcome you to this class of MA English first year of Maulana Azad National Urdu University. Today we shall have a discussion on Broadly speaking, the types of drama are tragedy, comedy, tragic comedy, farce, melodrama, and mask. I repeat, the types of drama are tragedy, comedy, tragic comedy, farce, melodrama, and mask. From the ancient times, drama has been divided into two kinds tragedy and comedy. Of these, tragedy deals with the dark side of life. In the Greek tragedy, the protagonist belonged to the high class of society. He represented the nobles. So the protagonist was either god or king. His fate led him towards his tragedy. His tragedy affected the whole nation. The atmosphere of a tragic drama is serious. In the classical tragedies, the mixing of comic elements was not allowed. But the English dramatists have experimented with it and mixed the elements of comedy with tragedy. For instance, in Shakespeare's tragedies, we find the presence of comic elements without affecting the end effect of tragedy. The end effect of tragedy or the aim of tragedy is purgation or purification of feelings. This purification of feelings is known as catharsis. Catharsis is a Greek word. It was used by Aristotle in his book Poetics while talking about the aims of tragedy. Tragedy is classified in two ways. One is with reference to its form. Another is with reference to its theme. As per the forms, tragedy is either classical tragedy or romantic tragedy. Classical tragedy is based on the Greek model. It follows the three unities of action, time and place. It also makes use of chorus. Chorus is a group of actors who report what happened off the stage and make moral comments from time to time. Classical tragedy tries to strengthen the religious convictions of the audience. It is didactic in nature, whereas romantic tragedy does not have any set pattern. The writer uses the form as per the requirement of his dramatic purpose. As opposed to the classical tragedy, romantic tragedy does not necessarily maintain the three unities. It may employ chorus or it may not employ chorus. It is not didactic in nature. From the theme or matter point of view, there can be many types of tragedy depending upon the variety of subjects. Some of the popular types are horror tragedy, heroic tragedy, she tragedy and domestic tragedy. The first of it, horror tragedy. It deals with violence and cruelty. It is also known as revenge tragedy. It follows the Greek model of Seneca. In English, 
John Webster's dramas are read as horror tragedies. The second type of tragedy, heroic tragedy, it is also known as heroic drama. It deals with the exploits of a sublime hero. Sometimes these dramas were written in words. In English, John Dryden has written this kind of tragedies. The next type of tragedy is she tragedy. As its name suggests, it has a female protagonist. It is also known as pathetic tragedy. It explores the sufferings of a woman. This kind of tragedy was popular during restoration period. Nicholas Rowe provides some finest examples of she tragedies. The next type of tragedy is domestic tragedy. This kind of drama was popular during the 18th century. It portrays the middle class life using prose. As opposed to the classical tragedy, domestic tragedy uses characters and incidents of ordinary life as the subject of serious drama. George Lillo's London Merchant is a famous example of domestic tragedy. In your syllabus, Henrik Ibsen's A Doll's House is also an example of domestic tragedy. Like tragedy, comedy also has two forms, classical and romantic. Classical comedy observes the classical rules of comedy dealing with the light side of life, having lower people as characters, having a comic atmosphere and a happy ending. Ben Jonson and the Restoration playwrights wrote classical comedies. Romantic comedy does not follow the classical rules of comedy. Shakespeare and the university wits wrote romantic comedies. Apart from these two types, classical comedy and romantic comedy, we have certain more types of comedy based on the subject like Comedy of humours, comedy of intrigue, comedy of manners and sentimental comedy. Comedy of humours is developed by an Elizabethan playwright Ben Jonson. It is based on the ancient theory of four humours or temperaments. It is believed that the human body has four primary fluids. These fluids determine a person's physical condition and the type of character. Ben Johnson's every man in his humour is the best example of it. The next type of comedy is comedy of intrigue. It is also known as comedy of situation. It was popular especially during the restoration period. It deals with complicated plots, conspiracies and situation arising out of unfaithfulness in love and marriage. Shakespeare's much ado about nothing 
is considered as a comedy of intrigue. The next type of comedy is comedy of manners. It is one of the most popular types of comedies. It is also known as restoration comedy. It criticizes the manners of high class society. The language and behavior of the characters is highly stylish and artificial. William Congreve's The Way of the World is an example of comedy of manners. Sentimental comedy is another type of comedy. It presents melodramatic situations. It came as a reaction to the immoral tone of restoration comedy. It generally has a middle class protagonist. It aims at producing tears rather than laughter. Richard Stilley's The Conscious Lovers can be put forward as an instance. Satiric comedy is the next variety of comedy. It actually ridicules political policies or philosophical doctrines. It attacks the deviation from social order. The Greek dramatist Aristophanes wrote this kind of drama. Ben Jonson calls this type of drama as corrective comedy. Now we have the next type of drama that is tragedy comedy. You can understand by the word itself that it is a mixture of tragedy and comedy. It originated during the Elizabethan period. It combines the features of tragedy and comedy. You can say it is a tragedy with a comic relief and a comedy with tragic background. The rising action is tragedy and the falling action is comedy. In other words, it begins with tragedy and ends with comedy. That is, has a happy ending. Shakespeare's Winter's Tale and The Tempest are the examples of tragic comedy. <laughs> We also have a type of exaggerated comedy known as farce. Farce is meant for laughter. It is far away from real life. It makes use of highly exaggerated or caricatured characters. The situations are improbable and hard to believe. In English drama, Farce is used as an episode in comedy. The modern dramatists also employ farce, for instance, in the theatre of absurd. Some of the scenes in Shakespearean comedies also have the farcical element in them. So instead of using farce as a separate drama, we have included the elements of farce in comedies. The next type of drama is melodrama. Melodrama is a lower tragedy. It is a lower form of tragedy. Music or melody was the essential element of melodrama, but gradually it became more about sentiments and sensational actions than music. So when we use the term melodrama, we talk about the sentimental and sensational actions. 
though we can trace the elements of melodrama in earlier plays, melodrama became specially popular in the Victorian period. Melodramas have wonderful scenic devices and represent major calamities on stage. The next type of drama is mask. Mask is a play with music, elaborate scenic effects and dancing. It is generally a fairy tale, a myth or an allegory on which the story is based. This kind of drama originated in Italy. In England, it was introduced in the 16th century. It makes use of elaborate costumes and dancing. John Milton's Comus is an example of English mask. Like melodrama and farce, Shakespeare has used mask partially in his play The Tempest. These days, the authors have written dramas with one acts. These dramas are known as one act plays. One act play is as old as mystery and miracle plays or the interlude of 15th century. That was also a one act play. One act play is actually like a short story. It imposes many restrictions on the dramatist. Brevity, economy of words is the soul of one act play. The plot of one act play is simple. It generally conveys one theme. It is either a comedy or a tragedy. It conveys a single emotion. The success of one act play depends on simplicity of design and immediate impact. So friends, till now, we have talked about the types of drama as tragedy, comedy, tragic comedy, farce, melodrama and mask. We have also discussed about one act plays. Miracle plays and interludes are the types of medieval drama. They were written in a variety of verse forms. Miracle play was generally based on a story from Bible or on the life of some saint. Initially, they were sponsored and staged by the church and they, had, they were didactic in nature. Morality plays were also based on the Christian beliefs. They followed the allegorical form. The characters were personifications of virtues or vices. The characters were either angels or demon. When I say that the characters were personification of personifications of virtues and vices, I mean to say that in a morality play, you will find a character called goodness and another character called cruelty. That is the personification of virtues and vices. The best known morality play is Everyman. Interludes are a variety of short stage entertainments. In the late 15th century and early 16th century, interludes were performed by bands of professional actors. They were often enacted in between the courses of a feast or between the acts of a longer play. John Haywood's farces of the first half of 16th century are the best examples of interludes. The next type of drama is historical plays. They are also known as chronicle plays. Christopher Marlowe's Edward II is an example of it. These plays are generally based on historical materials such as Hollinshed's Chronicle. They take the characters 
from the history. That's why these plays are known as historical dramas. Historical plays were popular in the 16th century England. They deal with people and events from English history. Shakespeare's Richard II, Henry IV, Henry V, Julius Caesar are the history plays or chronicle plays. Dear students, as part of types of drama, we have focused on tragedy and its different types such as classical tragedy, romantic tragedy, horror tragedy, heroic tragedy, she tragedy and domestic tragedy. In case of comedy, we have seen classical comedy, romantic comedy, comedy of humours, comedy of intrigue, comedy of manners, sentimental comedy and satiric comedy. I would like to remind you that we have also discussed some other types of drama like farce, melodrama, mask, one act play, miracle play, morality play, interludes and historic plays. We can also deal with more types of drama which came into existence in the 20th century but we shall keep that for the next session of discussion. You can read about these types of dramas from the books which you are seeing on the screen. The first is a book by Brijesh Prasad which talks about the background to English literature. The second book is a glossary of literary terms by M. H. Abrams. Let's meet some other time with some other interesting topic. Till then, goodbye. Thank you.